What is going on guys? Devious Marine 38 here for you guys another video and guys I am super freaking excited. These past days have been absolutely crazy and I'm sure this whole week is going to be absolutely insane with E3 and everything going on. Uh, I'm going to be trying to cover as much World War II stuff as I can for you guys. Uh, I'm super excited for the game and I want to bring you guys the most content possible even though I'm not at E3 and I'm not going to have like actual gameplay for you guys. I'm going to be covering a bunch of news and information about the game as much as I can and uh, just like a couple minutes ago we just had the making up a Call of Duty multiplayer stream and they released a lot of cool information uh, about the game and things that we're about to see so I'm gonna get into that today we have an awesome video and I'm probably gonna have more videos going up and I may actually try to upload the stream for all you guys that want to watch the entire stream it's about a half an hour long so it's probably gonna take me a little bit longer to actually get up um, but I'm gonna try to upload that for you guys um, so some of you guys that want to see it and if you guys missed it you guys can check it out because it was only on Facebook I believe so well anyway let's get into the video guys I'm super excited the first thing that I want to talk about is swats because you guys know if you guys are fans of Black Ops 3 Zombies, you guys know recently uh, with Zombie Chronicles when Treyarch remastered uh, Kino Der Totten and a lot of the, or I think another map also had a swastikas in it in the original like um, game. So I think in, in Black Ops, uh, Kino actually had some swastikas when they used to put them in the game. But now with some countries banning the swastika, the, um, some countries weren't actually allowed to play that map just because of the fact that they had the swastikas. So um, Sledgehammer actually this year uh, only included the swastikas in the campaign and they did not include it in the multiplayer or the zombies mode. So um, for countries, if you guys are somehow watching this video in a country where um, games or movies or whatever cannot be sold or whatever with swastikas in them, don't worry, you guys will at least be able to play the multiplayer and the zombies game mode, which I guess is cool. Really doesn't affect me obviously being in the United States um, but it's cool nonetheless um, moving on some people were questioning whether the trailer the multiplayer trailer that they uh, uploaded yesterday was actual like in-game footage and it did say in-game footage on the actual um, screen when it was going on and they did confirm that it was all in-game footage that they way uh, they did record and they took them a lot of time to actually edit that cool scene together so that is really really cool um, now moving on to a little war mode information a lot of people were asking about tanks I think I even asked this myself I made a couple assumptions um, but the tanks are not going to be controllable the what the tanks are going to be used for is the um, game mode called war and it's an absolutely outstanding game mode. i can't wait to see um what this game mode plays like i'm super excited it kind of honestly reminds me of overwatch when you're moving the payload and stuff throughout the map and there's like a defending team and an offensive team i think it's going to play out really good in call of duty and really exciting to see so i'll definitely probably have um, maybe another video just talking specifically about war but they did say that, that the tanks are exclusive to the war mode uh, moving on we're talking about headquarters now headquarters is a little gathering where players will go when you go into multiplayer it's like a big gathering kind of like the destiny um earth or whatever you call it a uh, little hub where everybody can just walk around and do different things the uh, call of duty does have that similar thing to where when you're queuing up for a multiplayer match while you're searching for a game or while you're waiting in an in-game lobby or whatever you'll be able to walk around there's a shooting range and different types of things that you'll be able to actually access only in this headquarters uh, mode but it's basically just a social thing where you can do uh shootouts and stuff which was really cool they were talking about how you can do 1v1s because you guys know if you guys are like are hardcore like Call of Duty fans you guys know people are always saying how they're better than each other so now people are actually gonna be able to solve their differences by doing like a little 1v1 in the lobby while they're waiting for the game to start which is absolutely insane and I was so like surprised to hear them hate like say that I don't know if it's like a custom little map or what it actually is I'm sure it's a really really small area um, but you're gonna actually be able to do 1v1s in this headquarters lobby which is absolutely insane so I cannot wait I'll definitely have to try to get gameplay for for you guys to see that hopefully maybe by by the time the beta comes out or hopefully during the beta um, we'll actually be able to try this out because I think that's just super cool if not I'll obviously be covering that and showing everything uh, on November 6th uh, when this game actually comes out uh, moving on they did uh, like the, you guys everybody if you guys have been paying attention to any of the news or anything going on you guys know that um, how sledgehammers talked about how they replaced the perks uh, with uh, these division classes and people were freaking out and stuff I honestly don't think it's that big of a deal I'd like to see some changes and stuff because we've had the same type of uh, core game for so long throughout all the Call of Duties having the creative class I feel like it was time to switch something up um, and basically what they said the perks are gone and then basically what you're gonna do now is division training where you're going to train uh, and level up that certain character that you pick or that certain division that you pick and that's going to benefit you maybe giving you these perk type things but you're not gonna have like certain perks that you're gonna be able to 
able to pick uh, for each class anymore. So they, I guess, are technically gone. I'm sure there's still going to be certain things that kind of benefit you, but they just don't call them perks. Um, also, they did say that primary weapons, secondary weapons uh, are going to have attachments, uh, and they are going to have equipment that you do pick for your class. So it's not really that creative classes are gone. They're just kind of altered in different, uh, like a different way where we haven't seen them before, but you're still going to be uh, able to add attachments and things like that and equip the equipment that you want and everything like that. And then kind of referring to creative class as well, there is going to be character customization, just like there was in Advanced Warfare uh, and what there has been in uh, some of the recent Call of Duties where you're going to actually be able to get stuff which i'm sure once they add supply drops into the game you're going to be able to get exclusive gear from supply drops being like rare or whatever uh for your character which y you guys know it's just bound to happen with with uh call of duty so um also really really cool information they did confirm that there is not going to be a slide you guys know the past couple of call of duties actually had a little slide uh, and then Black Ops, uh, I think Black Ops 2, I think were the only two games that had the dolphin dive, uh, but they did confirm that. They didn't call it the dolphin dive, they just called it the dive, but basically the dolphin dive is returning in this game, which is absolutely insane. I can't wait to actually use that again. It was kind of cool. I honestly think the slide was more beneficial, but it's cool nonetheless. At least there's going to be a little animation that you can do um, while you're um, running or whatever, and it's something maybe to get behind some cover really fast. Uh, I think that's really cool, um, but anyway, moving on, there's also, I did say this i think in my trailer break or yeah the trailer breakdown um when they were showing the airstrike going over the map there is going to be a uh, i think it's called the uss texas uh it's like a warship map where it basically takes base on like a u.s uh aircraft carrier which is really cool i believe he did say the name of it was the uss texas anyway that is going to be a map um that is going to be uh in the game as well he did confirm that which i was really excited i'm glad that wasn't just like some campaign thing or uh just some random thing they showed it is actually going to be a map kind of like the map from cod 4 i think it's called shipwreck or i don't know i can't remember the name i don't play cod 4 but you guys know what map i'm talking about so that's really cool um also they did confirm this is something else that i did talk about um in my trailer breakdown when the guys were parachuting in the map we thought maybe at spawn when you spawn into a map each time you're going to parachute down unfortunately that's not the case i really wish that's how maps started i think that'd be a really cool uh, addition to call of duty something again different um but they did confirm that the parachutes um when you're going into the map it's going to be a score streak called paratroopers so i'm guessing basically it's just you're going to once you get the streak it's basically kind of going to be like a gi unit i would assume it's not going to be as strong because there's going to be multiple people but you're basically you're probably going to throw like a care package like smoke thing down so that they will deploy in that certain area and they'll drop down maybe like three or four people that will just kind of aid you in battle and just act as another soldier to help you which is really cool and i'm actually kind of curious to see how that works um going back to war they were saying how war is more than a mode custom maps uh, are built for war so war is not going to be a game mode that is accessible on all maps kind of like domination or tdm or things like that it's only going to be accessible on certain maps obviously we don't have all the maps yet uh so we don't know exactly what maps they're going to be on but it's only going to be on certain maps and then war is also 6v6 um and the two maps i think that they confirmed or actually three maps they, they confirmed that are going to be at e3 um i'm probably going to butcher these names but i think andreas is one of them that's going to be domination they have point de hoc uh which is going to be tdm and they have operation breakout which is the uh is gonna going to have the war game mode in there and they're all going to be playable at e3 so if you guys somehow are watching this and you guys are at e3 get on that get playing these game modes and maps i'm super jealous i really wish i did go to e3 this year i was so close to going and i just did not end up going but i think it would have been awesome to be there this year especially with call of duty being so big this year and so positive and everybody looking forward to it um but it's okay i can't wait to see all the information and things that come out again guys i'm going to be doing so many more videos i'm going to have them linked at uh, the end of each of these videos hopefully so you guys can check them out if not just check back on the channel or my twitter and i will try to uh put them all on there so you guys can see i'm very uh organized and and just check all of my dudes i'm going to be posting so many videos for you guys i really hope you guys do enjoy don't worry i have more content coming soon thank you guys so much for watching this video guys if you guys did enjoy please be sure to hit that like button be sure to comment rate, and subscribe i will see you guys in my next video i'm devious marine 38 and i'm out peace